about some time ago she uh, asked if I would do this and she very kindly sent me extracts from the minutes going way back to about 1932. And those of you that know anything about minutes know that they're not stuffed full of humour. <laughs> <laughs> so if this seems a wee bit dry, it's probably because it's a wee bit dry. <laughs> Once upon a time, good stories all begin that way. Into existence came the famous RLCGA. Way back in 1909, our county started out anew. Alas, there are no records until 1932. <laughs> At that year's AGM, well, the attendance was quite good. They came from Cowglen, Eldersley, and also from Eastwood. From Ferenese and Gourick, Greenock, Kilmacombe and Hags, from Paisley, Old Ranfurley, and from Renfrew and White Craigs. The venue for the spring meeting in 1932 was Western Gales, and much enjoyed. I should think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so listen up, committee, and in no time you could boast increasing entries. Just arrange a jolly at the coast. <laughs> in 1933, a county tie cost three and six, and also in that year, Ranfurley Castle joined the mix. In 1935, Cathcart, East Wren and Williamwood, plus Cochrane Castle and Erskine, all joined this happy brood. Throughout the war years, all agreed that there would be no play, and the Rose Bowl and the Blythewood Trophy were both locked away. Post-war, Mrs Hamilton, the secretary, retired. She'd only served for 30 years. <laughs> no wonder she was tired. <laughs> Another former secretary, Peggy Clark by name, recalled a time at Cruden Bay, a county final game. Dense fog descended, so she ventured forward, as you do, and every time the course was clear to play, she yelled, yoo -hoo! <laughs> In 1947, White Craig's Golf Club had agreed that the September medal could be played there, but they'd need a green fee of some two and six per member for a start. So the committee said, nay chance, and opted for Cathcart. <laughs> In 54, the team were winners of the County Shield, the first time that had happened. At Glen Eagles, it was sealed. The county captain, Mrs. Shuker, praised the ladies' play. Team captain, Mrs. Drummond, hoped success was here to stay. Well, maybe she was psychic, because our team enjoyed a run. We won the Shield from 56 to 1961, apart from 58. But disappointment was made up when Dorothea Somerville was picked for Curtis Cup. The 70s arrived and trouser suits were voted. Fine. 260 was the limit placed on numbers who could join. The Rose Bowl one year, won by Anne McLeod, went on and on. It wasn't till the 55th hole that the match was won. <laughs> Then came the 80s, and twice more we won the County Shield. We obviously had the bestest golfers in the field. <laughs> Maureen Richmond, Wilma Aiken, were, I'm glad to say, made honorary members of the RLCGA. Said Wilma, in the Rickerton Rose Bowl in 81, achieved a record which I think has never been outdone. Her second round had nine straight birdies, which you will agree is eight more than the average achieved by you. <laughs> The 90s saw the advent of pre-balloting for games, and on the whole, I think that it was welcomed by us dames. What wasn't welcomed, ladies, and it didn't go down well, was that horrid, hated, handicapping system straight from hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's many of you think the game's no longer so much fun, with everybody scrambling to avoid that damned point one. <laughs> and yet we've come to terms with it in spite of all its flaws. Sometimes we're even hard pushed to recall the way it was. The first dinner with the speaker was arranged by Mrs. Mack. And let me tell you, Jennifer, you'd better watch your back. <laughs> this item in the programme should be yours, I have to say. But Muggins here got lumbered, because you said you'd be away. <laughs> and then the new millennium arrived with much ado, but still the numbers entered in the levels was too few. Carol Fell computerised the entries and each score and organised a website. Who could ask for any more? Our team continued to perform real well in competition and sponsorship has been secured to help us in our mission. All the courses have been rated here in Renfrewshire 
and well within the time scale that we thought we would require. So there we are, girls, up to date, our journey from the past. In order not to bore you all, I've covered it quite fast. <laughs> Some items I've omitted because there simply wasn't time, and others were left out because I couldn't make them rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed meandering back through all the years, remembering the times gone past, the laughter and the tears. Good friends you've made, good friends you've lost. Life goes on just the same, and binding us together is our passion for the game. Thank you. Thank you.